Okay, so we are talking about what's in our conditioner. I'm Genuine Nard, and this is everything I've learned about growing my natural type 4 hair. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and thanks. Now, in our last video, we talked a little bit about conditioner. We've even made a couple of conditioners. So now what we're going to do is pick on conditioner like we did shampoo. This is a generic conditioner, and we're going to see what's in it by reading the label. Buying hair care products can be tricky. Cosmetics, which hair care products are, are not FDA approved, but FDA regulated. That gives companies a great deal of freedom on what they can do. Now, I don't want to pick on this brand because they're doing much better than most. They're vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and cruelty-free. But I just want to use it to illustrate how to read labels. Right on the label, it says aloe vera. And in the description, it says key ingredients, vitamin B5, aloe, and flaxseed. But what's really in this bottle? So let's Google these ingredients. After water is ceteral alcohol. This is a fatty alcohol. And it's not only considered safe and non-toxic for use on skin and hair, but it's also not drying or irritating like other types of alcohol. Due to its chemical structure, Ceteral alcohol is even permitted by the FDA as an ingredient in products that are labeled alcohol-free. Now, 99% of all conditioners are mostly some type of fatty alcohol because it binds the conditioner ingredients, oil and water together. The next ingredient is PEG-40 hydrogenated castor oil. This functions as a surfactant or cleanser. It's water soluble and it is an emulsifier. So it works with our fatty alcohol to help the oil and water combine. Together, it's what gives the expected texture to conditioners and lotions. The next ingredient is sterile alconium chloride. This is a type of benzalconium or fatty salt, which is used as an antistatic agent, a surfactant, and an antimicrobial. In conditioners, it's often used as a hair detangler, and it's a more natural alternative to silicones. Next is glycerin. This is a humectant, and it's colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that has a sweet taste, and it's non-toxic. Due to having antimicrobial and antiviral properties, it's widely used in FDA-approved wound and burn treatments. The next ingredient listed is fragrance. Now, usually this is a mysterious ingredient, but in this case, we know exactly what it is. On the label, it says aloe vera, right? But if you look at the description, that is just the scent. Unfortunately, it's a sneaky way for companies to lead you to believe you're getting an ingredient that's not actually in the product. It's questionable, but think of it like strawberry Kool-Aid. No strawberries in it, this is the same game. Let's talk about these next two ingredients together. Phenoxanthanol is a colorless, oily liquid. It's a common preservative in vaccine formulations. Campranol glycol is a common component of many creams and ointments, where it's used as a skin conditioning agent. It also has antimicrobial ability. These two are globally approved preservatives that are paraben and formaldehyde free. These ingredients provide protection against microbial growth from bacteria and yeast. Linolol is the last ingredient on the list and it's a nice addition. It is usually a component in lavender and it's used in conditioners because it has anti-inflammatory effects on the skin. It's also an insecticidal found in many essential oils. But wait, the key ingredients list vitamin B5, aloe, and flaxseed. Why aren't these on the list of ingredients? They have to have some of an ingredient to claim it. But an ingredient that is less than 1% doesn't have to be listed according to FDA regulations. So it might be in there, but I would hardly call it a key ingredient. And this is typically how companies get you to buy and get around FDA regulations. It's like the one drop rule. 
Now don't get mad, most of them do this. I did buy this conditioner. Even with the issues we found, it's a good, inexpensive conditioner. And because we read the label and Googled it, we aren't going to have any false expectations and we can make a more informed choice. And so this is really a fairly good conditioner. I bought this one in a gallon jug. As you can see, I've been using it a lot. Um, and it's super easy to get a generic conditioner once you know that this is going to be overall a pretty good generic conditioner, even though they weren't as honest as they should be about the aloe vera. We understand, you know, that we're going to give them a little forgiveness and keep it moving. So I bought this one and I mix it with two parts water um filtered water most likely and then one part conditioner so if you're making three cups you're going to do two parts of good water and then you're going to add your conditioner shake it all up um there's nothing in it like a butter or a pomade that needs to be warmed so that it can blend and it's already got your binders right your fatty alcohols and all of your preservatives so it's got the same shelf life it would have had previously and I just spray it. It needs to be able to spray in a spray bottle. And that's it for that. And then the next thing I want to say about this conditioner is you can trick it out. We're going to show you in the next video in this series how you can take a basic generic conditioner from the store and you can add things to it so that it is custom for your hair. So so if you haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please subscribe now by clicking that little subscribe box that's rolling by and it's going to give you all of the videos in this conditioner series. And then last little thing I want to add, my girlfriend is getting married tomorrow to the love of her life and I just want to tell them congratulations and how proud I am of them both. And how busy I am because I'm the coordinator. Y'all knew I had more than one hustle. <laughs> so I've been blessed to have really great friends. And one of the things I want to say about my friends is that they are hardworking, brilliant, beautiful, charming women who really do support their community and their families and me. So I am blessed to have these women in my life. And one of the reasons why I feel really I attract amazing people, I see that's my super superpowers, I attract amazing people. <laughs> but um, is because I give them the love and the respect that they need. And then enough of us have grown up past all that, you know, we've outgrown that the foolishness and co competition foolishness of youth. And now we're just... We can just love each other as we stand. And so if you want more friends, I'm going to tell you my superpower secret is be a great friend for no reason. Love your friends the way you want them to love you. Drop some flowers off. Buy a gallon of conditioner. Make some for yourself. Share some with your friends. You'd be surprised how quickly they will share with you as well. And don't worry about you know, oh, what is her motives or what's going to happen? If they're not of your caliber, they will fall away or you will weed them out, right? So you're going to set your standards high, seek people who are at your level, and you'd be surprised at how quickly your base of really quality people will grow. All right, so that's about all I have to say in this video. Um, I do want to say that um, you can mix a lot of stuff in your conditioner. Don't feel like you can't. My girlfriend, see, there I go again, drinks about a, three, four tablespoons of olive oil a day. And I tell you, she's over 50 and you would not know it. She looks the same age uh, that she did when I met her in our 30s, right? So that's that. And if you haven't already done it, subscribe to the tribe. All of these videos are designed to build on each other. 
and they're designed to show you easy ways to care for your hair. So my girlfriend is getting married tomorrow and I am so excited. She's marrying the love of her life and I am super busy because I am her coordinator. So I have worn my hair in this geisha inspired updo and we're all wearing flowers in our hair. It's going to be very beautiful outside wedding. It's my first uh, post COVID wedding and not post COVID, but COVID-esque wedding because we're still in the middle of this pandemic. Please get vaccinated if you already have not and still wear your PPE even if you are because your life is too precious to play some silly games and political games. Put your health and the health of your community first. Okay, so that little PSA. <laughs> YouTube is what I do to share with the world, but um, wedding coordinating is what I do to share with my family and friends, and I love to throw great parties. So if you want to, I'm going to see if she lets me pop a few pictures in the next video that follows this one, which is tricking out your generic conditioner, right? You don't have to use stuff the way it came from the store, and I'll show you simple non-science catastrophe ways to add things to your conditioner to make it custom to your hair blend. If you haven't already done it, please subscribe to the tribe. Just click that little subscribe box that's scrolling by. If you like me, let me know by clicking the like, 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 which is also scrolling. And then um, let me know who you are in the comments. I hope you feel like you've met a friend on the internet, right? And that I am a part of your support group because I consider you a part of mine. <sighs> All right, that's it. I am super busy because I told you I got a wedding to coordinate um, and it's got to be perfect because my girlfriend is going to be the most beautiful bride. I, I have the best brides ever. They're always gorgeous. But uh, anyway, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup because I'm sure I'm going to cry. <laughs> All right. See you later. Thanks for spending a little of your time with me. Have a great rest of your day. I gotta go. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me how it turned out for you in the comments. Click like, subscribe and ring that bell for all the videos in this playlist. Or just view these next two. And thank you again for watching. Alright, that's it. <laughs>